The Houston Texans roll into Cleveland Sunday as a potential swing game. At least that's what I'm calling it. I'm going to give you some more details next. Cue the intro. <laughs> What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new episode of The League. Your host, as always, Harley Dugan. And we got Deshaun Watson and the Houston Texans going to Cleveland to take on Baker Mayfield and the Cleveland Browns with a potential return of Nick Chubb. You also, they also have Kareem Hunt, two great running backs that are going against your piss-poor interior defensive line. This spells nothing but disaster for the Houston Texans defense. But, 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 I'm putting on the Texan fan goggles. I'm putting them on. I'm putting on the Texan fan goggles as I'm cutting to the chase. Houston Texans beat the Cleveland Browns 28-27. I do not see the Browns as a team that scares me in any way. They shouldn't phase you at all. It's just the running game. Can you handle the running game? And look, we've, there, there's there's no games that tells you, well, we're going to take care of them this week. No, there's no rec anywhere where you see the Texans took care of the run game really at all. Look, I'm not saying they're going to take care of the run game, but you contain them as much as you can. I see the Texans pulling out a win. I see them pulling out a W. I really do. You got the Sean Watson going to go out there 300 plus passing yards, three plus passing touchdowns. Will Fuller is going to have his seventh touchdown in seven games straight. Okay. You're going to have Duke Johnson about 16 carries, 70 yards, a receiving touchdown. A little revenge game for Duke Johnson defensively. See, last week you had a lot of dropped interceptions. I believe it was four. This week, you got Baker Mayfield, who loves handing out cookies, whether it's sugar, whether it's oatmeal raisin, whether it's chocolate chip, whether it's white chocolate macadamia nut. It don't matter. Baker Mayfield loves handing out cookies. It's just up to the defense, and it's up to the secondary whether or not they want those cookies, okay? So he's going to hand them out. It's up to you whether or not you want them or not. The defense, I believe, gets a takeaway. They get an interception. J.J. Watt gets two sacks for the day. The Texans move on to 3-6 and six and look at the rest of their schedule because I see this Browns game as a potential swing game that could string together 2-3 game winning streak. And then being 5-6, and six, you just never know what can happen in the NFL. But again, you have to win week by week, start 1-0. and oh, That is the mentality for this team. So that's it for today's video, guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell for the notice to come on. I am putting back on the Texan fan goggles as I see our Houston Texans traveling to Cleveland in that disgusting weather, 28 27 the Texans pull out a W and they go on to three and six potentially on the road to ten and six I don't see that happening but gotta keep your head up as always guys go Astros go Rockets go Texans you have a blessed day